العالمين والصلاة والسلام على شرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين الحمد لله we begin by praising Allah سبحانه وتعالى and we pray that Allah bless this medley make it a reason we are seen to be given and we pray that Allah bless us and give goodness in dunya goodness in akhirah the understanding and yabdeen tawfiq and hidayah that we are able and to practice and to follow his commandments and refrain from prohibitions and emulate the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam zahiran and batina and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with Fasul Khatima Ameen Ya Rabbal Alameen in our last lesson we are still speaking about the conditions of congregation and the, the author already mentioned any of you and we have come into the part towards any the end where the author and he speaks any about uh, the concessions so he mentioned wa in takhallafa bi'uzrin ka buti qira'atin bila waswasatin last week we spoke any about batil qira that if a person <coughs> recite slowly and the imam and he recite it too fast so he is given any the concession of three long rukun so he spoke any about this likewise any if a person moves any very slowly this is bati ul haraka so we have bati ul qira'a and bati ul haraka so he is given any three long rukun so he mentioned fa in zada nawa al mufaraqata aw wafaqahu fi ma huwa fi wa ata bi raka'atin ba'da salamihi so the imam many has the uh, choice whether you need to follow the imam or to intend mufaraqa to detach any from the jamaah if he cannot any catch up with the imam after three long rukun this is what any he mentioned fa uh, we stop here in our last lesson uh, our lesson any today and it will begin any from wa amal masbuq now the author is going to speak any about masbuq last week any we spoke about the definition of muwafiq he say ahada fil muwafiq wa huwa man adraka ma al imam qadr al fatiha the definition of muwafiq is a person who has the time to recite the fatiha of the imam whereas masbuq any is the opposite masbuq is a person who does not have the time to recite Fatiha with the Imam. So when it comes in Muwafiq, it is compulsory, as what we mentioned, to recite Surah Al-Fatiha. But now the author is going to speak any about the Masbuq. So he said, وَأَمَّا الْمَسْبُقْ إِذَا رَكَعَ الْإِمَامُ فِي فَاتِحَتِهِ فَإِنْ اشْتَغَلَ بِسُنَّةٍ كَدْعَاءِ الْإِفْتِتَاحِ أَوِ تَعَوُّذِ قَرَعَ بِقَدْرِهَا As for the Masbuq, he said, if the Imam does the Ruku and he is reciting Fatiha, and he is reciting any fatiha. And before this, he recite dua iftitah. So now it is compulsory upon him to recite the length any of dua iftitah before any he performs any ruku. Meaning he cannot any do the ruku immediately. Then a person any is masbuk. He comes into prayer and he recite dua iftitah. He recite any dua iftitah. Um, and then the imam does the ruku. So it is not permissible for him to do the ruku, because why he recited dua iftitah. So he has any to recite surah al-fatiha as long as dua iftitah that he has recited. So for example, if he recite uh, Allahu Akbar kabira, Alhamdulillah kathira, wa Subhanallah bukratan wa asila, then the imam does the ruku. So this is a parable of three ayah. So he recite any the basmala, Alhamdulillah rabbil alamin, Rahman rahim Malik yomidin, then he does the ruku. Because any this is any the extent any of the dua of Tita that he has recited. This is where the author is saying. So if he recite any dua any of Tita, and the Imam any does any ruku, then any he recite Surah Al Fatiha the length any of the dua of Tita that he recited. Then only he can do the ruku. Or he recite Tawus. The author mentioned Aw Tawus. Say Aw Billahi Min Al Shaitan Al Rajim. And then he recite any Bismillah Rahman Rahim Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alamin. The Imam he does the ruku. So what must he do? He has to recite at least one ayah because Ta'awus is a parable of one ayah. 
So he, if he reaches Sayyidina Rahman Rahim, the Imam does a ruku, so at least he must say, Malik Yawmiddin. Then he does a ruku. Because this takes any day, length any off. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajim. So these are some things any that are a bit fine, and we have to focus and uh, concentrate any on so many of these things. Otherwise, any we won't understand. So he mentioned Kadu'a iliftitahi aw ta'awu zika ra'a bi qadriha. So I hope it's clear, inshallah. Summa in adrakahu fi ruku'i adraka raka'ata. Now, this is any important. A lot of people then ask any this question. Any masbuk, uh, reaches any the ruku' with the imam. An imam made us a ruku', the masbuk, and he gets to ma'nina with the imam in ruku'. So with the condition any that he recite fatiha with the imam, or if he recited any dua iftita, he has any recited part any of Surah Al-Fatiha, the length of dua iftita. If he does any ruku with the imam, then only we say that if he uh, receive uh, the ruku with the imam, with the ma'nina, then only he gets the raka'ah. But if he does not get the ruku with the imam, and without any any tumanina, he does not get the raka'ah. So if he does not get the raka'ah, he has to pay back the raka'ah after the salam any of the imam. Wa illa fa tatu raka'ah. This is what he said. Wa illa fa tatu raka'ah. Yani otherwise, he doesn't get the raka'ah with the imam. Wa yuafiquhu fi ma huwa fihi wa yati bi raka'atin. So he has to continue with the imam. Yuafiquhu. Yani imam das ruku, he das ruku. Imam das i'tidal, he das i'tidal. Imam das sujud, he das sujud. But did he get this raka'ah? He does not get this raka'ah. Because he does not get the ruku with the imam. Wa yati ba'da salami so he does any day one raka'ah after the salam of the imam but if a person does not do any sunnah then he does not recite dua iftita straight away bismillahirrahmanirrahim alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen arrahman rahim maliki yawmiddin imam any does a ruku allahu akbar khalas any we say ruku with the imam stop any of fatiha there is no need for you to continue because you have not recited any sunnas. You have not recited the hours, you have not recited the iftita. So there is no need for you to continue part any of your fatiha to uh, to imburse yani the, the, the sunnas in that you have recited. Tamam? So he can straight away that, do the ruku. Wa yati bi raka'atin ba'da salami imamihi. Wa illa miyashtaril bi sunnatin qata'an kira'ata wa raka'amahu. So he does any ruku with the imam. He gets the manina of the imam, he gets the raka'ah. Otherwise, he does not get the raka'ah. Right. So now when we enter into the next fasl. The author mentioned fasl fi idraq il masbuk al raka'ata. Again, the author is going to speak any about the rulings any on the masbuk. So now when we have understood the definition of the masbuk. Huh? Everybody any have understood the definition any of the masbuk. Yani a person any who does not any have any the time to recite any fatiha with the imam this masbuk so he mentioned waman adraka al imam al mutatahira raki'an wa tma'anna ma'hu qabla irtifa'ihi an aqalli ruku'i adraka raka'ata so this particular sentence and it speaks any about the ruling any of the masbuk how do we ascertain that the masbuk and it gets any raka'a or does not get the raka'a so in this any one any statement and you will find any some any of these conditions point any number one the imam is mutatahir the imam yani the imam and his son and the person whose prayer is not valid. If you pray behind an imam and you get the raka'ah, ruko with the imam, but the prayer of the imam is not valid, you do not get the raka'ah with the imam. Because he cannot, uh, what do you call it? Yani uh, do yani the ruko on your behalf. So you do not get the ruko with the imam because he is not mutatahir. It's muhdith. Muhdith and he does not have wudu, for example. Or in the state of Janaba, he forgot any to pay the obligatory buff. So you do not get the raka. You have any to pay back. Then he mentioned raki and what ma'anna. Yani, he is in the state of ruku. When a person, when an imam he is in the state of ruku, not kiyam, ruku. And then there must be to ma'anna, what ma'anna. Yani, the ma'mum has to ma'anna with the imam in the state of ruku. With the imam. Before the imam goes up, an akali ruku, akali ruku is when any we put any our palms any at our knees. This akali ruku. So in this posture, any if the imam has not moved from any this posture, and you get the tumanina with the imam, you get the raka. 
But the, if the Imam is stood up, you do not get any deraka. Wa in adraka hu fi ruku in zaidin. If the ma'mum and he gets any ruku, if the Imam in ruku zaid. What is any ruku in zaid? Yani, for example, the Imam and he prays any five raka. And you came as a masbuk. You came in the fifth raka. This fifth raka is not valid. This zaida. It's not valid. This is an additional. But the Imam he does not know. After prayers, any you find out. So you have to pay back one raka. Because now it becomes clear that the fifth raka is not valid. So the Imam he cannot do the ruku on your behalf. So you do not get the raka even, even though you get the ruku with the Imam. Because this raka is not valid. This is the situation of raka zaida. Yani the Imam and he goes up and into the fifth raka, for example. So all these things and he are, are important things and he that requires any some pondagans, huh? So this is not any something that is uh, easy that uh, you can any understand except that you need any revision. If you want to understand what any the author uh, is, is is speaking any about. Because yani, he basically summarizes any many things any in one sentence. So he mentioned what in adraka hu fi ruku in zaidin aw fi sani min al kusufain If the imam in his prayer kusuf praying kusuf eclipse any prayer and we understand second the second uh, ruku any is additional The first ruku any is wajib The second ruku any is sunnah And the second ruku if a masbuk any comes in and does a ruku and the imam is a second ruku or first raka so the ma'mum does not get ruku with the imam because the second any ruku is not any considered any to be the ruku any that is wajib. It is an additional any ruku. This is what the author is saying. Wafisani minal kusufain lam yudrika. He will not get the raka. Just like any a person who does any ruku with the imam, the imam is in the fifth raka, or the imam any is in the second ruku of the eclipse any prayer in one raka. He does not get the raka. So these are so many of the things that the author mentioned with regards to Masbuk. How does any Masbuk any get the Raka? And then any he mentioned Faslun Ahakun Nasi Bil Imamati Al Wali. Now he goes to speak any about who is any the most deserving person to become the Imam. Number one, any he mentioned Al Al Wali. Al Wali here refers any to the governor. The governor or the Khalifa. Or nowadays any Prime Minister or the Muslim of uh, Muslim any affairs yeah, in, in our situation today this is Wali this is the best person that need to become Imam but nowadays any you will not find any correct no? you will not find the only closest person any that we can we can see Wallahu Alam is President Erdogan any of Turkey and yani he is one any of the presidents any that recite in the Quran on national television. Any a Muslim any president recite the Quran. And Wallahu Alam, I think he became an Imam. But normally any that this does not any happen. But last time, the best any person any who become the Imam is the governor or the Amir or the Khalifa. Uh, we have any Khulafa Rashidin, for example, Sayyidina Bakr radiallahu an. After the uh, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, Sayyidina Khattab. This is Wali. This is a Khalifa. And likewise, any the governor of a district. The governor any of a district. So, if the governor attends any, for example, Jama'a prayers, he is more deserving to become any the Imam. But we pray, inshallah, and if we have someone any who can lead the prayers. Because this will have impact any on the unity of the Muslims. And imagine any if a prime minister of a Muslim country, of course a Muslim country, yeah, prime minister of a, well, he must be a Muslim. If the Prime Minister, imagine the Prime Minister of a Muslim country becomes the Imam. Do you think any there will be a difference? There will be a difference. Huh? People any will feel unity. Our Prime Minister, mashallah, he becomes any, the Imam in Jumma. Becomes the Khatib. Khatib in Jumma. Or the Imam any of the eight prayers. Now this is this is the best. Ahaqun nas bil imama al wali. Wa yataqaddamu aw yuqaddimu ghayrahu. Yani either yani he becomes in the Imam or he selects who becomes in the Imam. 
So normally in our situation and today we have this uh, like in Muslim countries nowadays they have this uh, kind of like uh, the Muslim uh, what you call it association or something. Jabatan Agama. So the the, the governor and he appoints who is any the imam of a particular mosque. Who is the imam of a particular mosque? And they are the ones who set any the criteria. So this is what uh, is happening any nowadays, and this is any part of what the author is saying. Aw yuqadimu ghayrahu wa lau fi milki ghayrihi wa lau fi milki ghayrihi. Even though any he is in a place any that he does not own. For example, any the governor comes to your house. Who is the best any person to become the imam? The owner of the house or the governor? The governor. Even though the house any is not his, but since he is the governor, he is the best any to become the imam, and he is the one any who select who becomes any the imam, and if he does not anyone to become the imam, wasakin bi milkin awi aratin. Then only the owner, owner any of a place, sakin bi milk, any a person who stays in a place and he possess the this is the landlord. Now he is the best any to become to become any the imam awi arat. Yani he borrowed. He borrowed any the place for some time. Any for example, he becomes any the imam. Our ijara or he rented any the place. Our wakf or any the place any is an endowment. Our wasiyatin based any on wasiyah that goes back any to him. Our wakf any belongs to him. He is the best any person any to become the imam. Our nahwiha fayataqaddamu aydan aw yuqaddim. So the the the, the preference and is given to him. Then only the one any that he select, the one any that he that he select. Illa an al muira ahaku min al mustair. The one any who lends any is more deserving any than the one who borrowed. Yani if if it is not based any on uh, rental, it is based any on lending and borrowing. The person any who lend. It's more appropriate to become the imam than the person any who borrows. Was Sayyid a haku min abdihi? The master any is more deserving than his servant, than his slave. Alladhi laisa bi mukatab. If the slave any is not mukatab, mukatab is a contract slave. Contract slave any meaning the master told any the slave that if you can come forth any with certain amount of money, I will free you. This is mukatab. This is Abdul Mukatab. So if he is any the Mukatab, this uh, condition any does not stand, because any the Mukatab is different any than a full slave, because the Mukatab can receive zakah. The Mukatab any is the only slave any can receive zakah. He need to free himself any from slavery. <coughs> so this is an exception. Wal Imam Muratib ahaku min raiyil wali. Imam Muratib any is the Imam that is working in a mosque, that has been appointed to be the Imam in a masjid. This is Imam Muratib. He is the best to become the Imam. The only person who is better than him is the wali, as what we mentioned earlier, the governor. But other than the governor, he is the best. So even yani, if a big ulama comes yani, to a place, to a masjid, who is better to become the imam? Not any there, the ulama or the qari, but the imam ratib. A lot of people yani, might not know this, but this is what any yani, is mentioned yani, by our fuqaha. That is why many yani, of scholars, yani, when they come to masjid, they do not like to become imam because they know that imam yani, ratib yani, is better to become yani, the imam than the others, except yani, if the governor. And then any he mentioned, wal imam muratib ahaku min raiyil wali fayataqaddamu aw yuqaddim. Same thing. Fayataqaddamu aw aw yuqaddim. Yataqaddam any he becomes any either he becomes or he selects others any to become the imam. Summa qaddim al afqah. Then the next any in line is al afqah. Yani the one who is faqih, who knows any the rulings any of fiqh anymore. Yani the one any who knows any the ruling any of it and with regard to prayers, he is given precedence than others. Then only al akra the one any who can recite properly or the one who has a good recitation. 
But nowadays it is the opposite. The one who can recite is always any given precedence, even though any you have someone who is more learned than him. Because normally people they are more inclined any to voice their knowledge. But uh, in reality, any the Afqa he is given precedence over Akra. Akra here meaning the one any who can recite well. Summa awra. Then any the one any who is pious. The one any who is pious, the more pious is given precedence. Summa man sabaka bil hijrati. Then any those any who does in the hijrah first. Those who does any the migration to a certain place. If he is a person any who is from any a country, a particular any country, he is given a precedence. Then those any who came later. And then, our ahad abaihi, one of his forefathers, for example, his family has been here for five generations. Another person in his family has been here for two generations. So the one any whose family has been in a particular place for five generations is given precedence over two generations. Just like in Singapore, for example, there are people who have been living here since many years, generations. But most any of us, any we are migrants. Most of us. Some of us came from India, from China, from Indonesia, and all that. So the one any who is uh, the resident any of a country, and his generations any has been here is given any precedence. Then migrants. So ma man sabaka Islam who then those any who who became a Muslim any first. Yani, for example, any you have uh, converts, any for example, the best any of them any to become the imam is the one any who became Islam first, a senior yani in in Islam. So ma an nasib. Then only any we look any at lineage, the best any lineage becomes any the imam. So ma Hasan of Saud. Then only the voice. So there is a difference between Akra and Hasan of Saud. Al Akra that is mentioned any by the author is a person any who can recite well, who can recite well. But Hasan of Saud any a person any who has a nice voice, who has any a a nice voice. So it is not necessary that a person who can recite well must have a nice voice. Voice any is a gift any from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. There are many, many of the Quran, the great reciters any of our time. They do not have any uh, nice voice, but they are the sh- the shuyukh al qura. Yani they are they, the masters any of the reciters. So this is something any that you have to understand. So there are people any out there, for example, they are the teachers any of qiraat, but they might not any have nice voice any when reciting. When you hear them reciting the Quran, yani their voice any might not not be any some, somebody else. Who is known any for to have any nice voice? So we need to understand any this difference. So this Hasan of South and he came b- below. So ma Hasan of Surah. Then only any the figure of the person. Some people any have a nice any figure, nice face. This any has an impact any on the jama. This has impact any on the jama. Hasan of Surah. Clear inshallah. Hasan of Surah meaning any has a nice figure, nice body, nice face. For in his tawaw okra by nahum. If all of these criteria are the same, they have to draw lots. Meaning they have to draw lots. Any if they, they are not in in agreement. One person say I should become the imam. I am the afqa, the akra, Hasan surah. But second person say no. I should become the imam. I possess the qualities all same as you. So who is become the imam? And no choice. And they have to draw lots. But if one of them any given, khalas any he becomes any imam. This is in a situation anywhere, they are not in uh, agreement. So they have any to draw lots. Wala adlu awla min al fasiq, al adl, a person who is upright is better than fasiq, transgressor. Wa in kana afqa aw akra, even any if the if the transgressor is afqa, yani understood well on the rulings. There are so many people fasiq but alim, possible. They are knowledgeable, but they are fasik. So who is any better? 
يعني the person who is pious, person who is pious and is better. والبالغ أولى من الصبي. A person who has rich puberty is better than a person who has not rich puberty. وإن كان أفقه أو أقرع. Even when he is a mumayyiz, he is faqih or can recite well. والحور أولى من العبد. يعني a free person يعني is better than a slave. ويستوي العبد الفقيه والحور غير الفقيه. So if a if a slave and is faqih, it has any the same the same any degree any of a free man who is not faqih but he is a free man. So in terms any of their status they are the same in imama. والمقيم أولى من المسافر. A person who is muqim is better than a person who is musafir to become the imam. Wa waladul halal awla minal walad zina. A person yani who is not any walad zina. Walad halal here means yani based on nikah. Any parents yani based on nikah. Walad zina if the if the parents yani does zina he is the what we call it wedlock any born of or wedlock. So it is better to give walad halal. والعامة مثل البصير، but when comes any to a blind man and a person who can see, which is given any precedence, none. They are the same. والعامة مثل البصير، because prayers any has nothing to do with sight. Performing any imama has nothing to do any with with the sight. So there is no difference any between a blind person and a person who can see. Then he mentioned فصل في بعض السنن المتعلقة بالجماعة. So I will just any go fast in inshallah. I hope everything is clear. The author any mentioned now any is fasl on sunnah any in jamaah prayers. He mentioned yustahabu ala yakuma illa baada farag al iqama. Yani when we are performing any jamaah prayers, it is a sunnah to stand up after iqama. Although nowadays nobody does this except a few. Yani when when do we stand any? When do we stand in for prayers? After yani, the Mu'addin finishes the Iqama. Qad qamat di salah, qad qamat di salah. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah. Then only the Ma'mum and his hands. This is a Sunnah. But normally, yani, when the Mu'addin begins an Iqama, everybody yani, starts yani, to stand. وَيُسْتَحَبُوا أَلَّا يَقُومَ إِلَّا بَعْدَ فَرَغِ الْإِقَامَ This is what he said. وَتَسْفِيَةُ السُّفُوفِ تَسْفِيَةُ السُّفُوفِ Yani meaning to straighten the soft. Normally we have the line. So all any the hills any must be straight, in line. Wala amru bidalik. It is a sunnah for the imam any to say istau, to tell any the jamaa please straighten your saf to remind, because sometimes any the ma'mum forgets. People any come from outside. Sometimes any they are from their workplace. Sometimes they are from their house, their mind. For example, thinking about something else, they forgot about certain things. So it is a sunnah for the imam to remind the importance any of. Straightening any the soft. Wa min al imami akadu. Yani from the imam, yani is is highly encouraged that he remind that he remind any jamaah. Wa afdalu sufuf al awal. The best any soft any is the first soft. Fal awal li rijal. The best any is the first, then the second, then the third. This is what what he meant. Yani the closest any to the imam that is the best. The closest any to the imam that is any the best. وَتُكْرَهُ إِمَامَةُ الْفَاسِقِ مَكْرُوهُ If the imam is fasiq. This is what we mentioned before this. وَالْأَخْلَفْ أَخْلَفْ is a person who has not been circumcised. It's makruh to pray behind him. وَهُوَ الَّذِي لَمْ يَخْتِن And the author already mentioned who is أَخْلَفْ And he does not do the khitan. وَالْمُبْتَدِعْ مُبْتَدِعْ also and we spoke about I think last time. مُبْتَدِعْ And he is a person أَهْلِ بِدْعَ And he does any innovation. An innovation that does not any make him apostate. Makro to pray behind him. But if he does an innovation that makes him an apostate, it is not valid to, to pray behind him. So Mubtadi, there are two types. Mubtadi. A Mubtadi that is Farsik and Mubtadi that is Kafir. So there are there are people any whose bid'ah lead them to kufr. This any prayers any is not valid. So for example, the Sheikh and Ibn Hajar in the commentary speaks any about the Mujassima. Yani some any mujassima they go to the extent of uh, describing any Allah any as a person, as a man. That Allah has two legs, two eyes, two two hands, and he sits any on the arash. Our scholars any does takfir any to this kind of mujassima. 
yani dia describe ini Allah Subhanahu wa taala with body parts and that Allah yani is binded any by space and carried any by the malaika and if a person is says any like this this listen to kufur but so many mujassima yani they say that we do not know how any he look like yani maybe any has a body but we do not know any how any is that body this is mubtadi' makruh yani to pergi any behind because any when you question him and you say that uh, so what do you mean he say allahu alam but allah is body yeah, body but we do not know any how his body like allah in a, in, in a place but we do not know any where his place like so some of our scholars and he mention this is makruh yani to pergi any behind him because this is fasik fasik yani this is a problem in aqida that they, they abide any to the tajsim a kind of tajsim any that does Some scholars mention that does not lead to kufur because it's ijmal. They do not do tafsil. They do not any go any to the extent any of uh, what you call it, uh, uh, what you call it, uh, the details. So mujassima, any yani, these these are the two types. Yani. These are the few types any yani, of the mujassima. So he mentioned wal mubtadi wat wat tam tam. Tam tam yani is a person yani, who cannot recite any properly. Yani he repeats any certain letters like uh, murmuring uh, murmuring murmur is it like uh, person like gagap like he repeats any certain uh, what you call it uh, likewise any fa fa and he repeats letter fa yeah what's that start eh? Yeah, and he, uh, he he repeats any certain uh, certain any letters. Yeah, this is makro uh, yani to follow him. Wal wa wa yani this is letter wa, the letter of wow, the letter of fa fa fa, the letter of ta ta tam tam. So when they recite any day, kind of any repeat. Wa man yalhan bima la yuqayyul maana. Allahan yani is making mistakes yani in. The shackle. For example, a person in Gisa, Alhamdulillahu. Yani he said, Alhamdulillah. This lahan. So lahan yani is you change the shackle, but the condition is does not change the meaning. An example is Alhamdulillahu. Yani this is a mistake in recitation. It should be Alhamdulillahi. But he said Alhamdulillahu. But in terms of the meaning, does change the meaning? No, it just it doesn't change the meaning. So this makro to pray behind him, but if he does lahan changes any the meaning. For example, he say, "Sirat al ladina an amtu alayk alayhim an amtu." Instead of saying an amta, an amtu. This one prayer is not valid without any difference. Prayer is not valid because change the meaning. An amtu is different any from an amta. An amta meaning the ones any whom you have blessed. But the, when he say an amtu, meaning what? The one whom I have blessed. So this change in domir, this uh, what you call it, makes any the prayer any invalid. So that is why the author any mentioned the condition here. La yura yigul maana. La lahan any that does not change the meaning. But lahan that change the meaning, prayer become invalid. Wa kada tu kahul jamaatu fi masjidin lahu imamun ratibun. It is makruh yani to pray in jamaah where in the masjid where there is imam ratib. Yani for example, you enter a mosque. Now any is asa time. The imam ratib has not prayed, and then you form a jamaah. Allahu Akbar, makro, because you will confuse any people. So people come into the masjid, and they do not know any. Hey, how come one jamaah is praying here, and then the imam ratib is praying, and he at the mimbar? So this will cause any fitna after that. So we cannot any form a jamaah. Only the imam any ratib any has performed. Uh, uh, perform any the the jamaah. وَكَذَا تُكْرَهُ الْجَمَاعَةُ فِي مَسْجِدٍ لَهُ إِمَامٌ رَاتِبٌ وَهُوَ غَيْرُ مَتْرُوقٍ. طيب now any we have any uh, terminology masjid matruq and masjid غَيْرُ مَتْرُوقٍ. طيب what does it mean? so number one imagine any you have a mosque. We have any a mosque, and the jamaa is limited. For example, in the village, the jamaa is limited. 
the imam and he prays in this mosque imam ratib and the jamaah who prays in the imam are the same people so we say this is masjid ghayru matruq but if you have any amos and if for example now and then people come in and pray after any the jamaah you have people coming and pray all the way until asr for example so this is masjid matruq clear inshallah so there is a difference any between masjid ghayru matruq and masjid matruq so the difference is basically whether any this mosque is a mosque that the jamaah is limited Congregation is limited to a few people, or the jamaah any is not limited any to a few people. So normally, like mosques any in the middle of uh, cities and streets, this is masjid matruq, like masjid sultan, matruq. Correct, no? Every now and then, any people come in and and pray. But if you go to some places, for example, in the village outside of Singapore, where the jamaah any yani, are the same people any yani, around the village. So we say this is Masjid Raygu Matruq. This is Masjid Raygu Matruq. So the author yani, speaks any yani, about the difference yani, between these two. Between these two masjid. Inshallah yani, we continue next week yani, because of Adhan. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Allahumma salli wa sallim ala sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ala sayyidina Muhammad. Rabbana atina bidunya hasanah. Wa fil akhirati hasanah wa qina'adha bin nar. Sallallahu ala sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ala sayyidina Muhammad.